It's indefensible. Harvey's admitted to it and it's indefensible. That's the only word you can start with. And I've known Weinstein for 20 years. 20 years, George Clooney, 20 years. He gave you your first break in Hollywood and in the space of one week, you're prepared to throw him overboard. Weinstein got Jennifer Lawrence her Oscar. She said, this kind of abuse is inexcusable and absolutely upsetting. It is, Jennifer. But how timely that you say this now. And Kate Winslet, whose Oscar came from another Weinstein film, said, that behaviour is without question disgraceful and appalling. I'd hope these kind of stories were just made up rumours. Maybe we've all been naive, she said. No, Kate, you weren't naive. You were smart and you followed the limelight. And just like that, a man called God by Meryl Streep and poured down like a giant pussy by Hillary Clinton is a monster, the human equivalent of Ebola. Hollywood cannot distance themselves fast enough. A competition to see who can be the most distressed about all the stuff they've blatantly known all along. Weinstein sent a desperate letter to Hollywood CEOs before his firing, pleading for anyone who profited from his genius to stand by him, to give him time to try to change. Instead, they kicked him into the curb and dragged half-naked actresses up from their knees to throw rocks at his head as well. These tolerant liberals, these preachers of hope, these never-Trumpers, all complicit, all wanting to shame one man to save their own shady dealings. Are people not allowed to mess up? If you ask for time to change, is the only answer no? Where is the humanity you lectured us about to every damn award ceremony? Just look at yourselves, all of you rushing to lynch this one man. You pocketed his money, you profited from his Oscars, and you took what he gave. You are Weinstein, one and all.